Yo, what's up? Um, Gunster here. This is my second YouTube video that I've uploaded. Uh, the first one was about a year ago, um, but figured I'd start uploading again, maybe make some more videos here and there since I'm streaming full time on YouTube instead of other sites. Um, I went to my first card show yesterday. Me and my buddy Kenny uh, went to uh, Kokomo, Indiana for a card show and uh, came out with some pretty cool stuff. So I'm just gonna go through what I got and uh, how I got it and uh, that'll be the video. Um, starting off, uh, there are these wood cutout cards um, that one of the guys had there at one of their tables, their booths. Um, I think they're pretty sweet. Uh, they're super detailed and uh, he gave me a discount since I bought four of them, like a whole set. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I think his dad was the one that like cut these out, whatnot. Uh, maybe used a machine of some sort, obviously. Wood burner. Um, pretty sweet uh, little things. Even the backs are detailed with the uh, Pokeball that opens the wrong way. Old school logo. Um, yeah, I just thought they were super cool, so I picked up a, a set of them. So from there, I, uh, I ended up trading these guys a couple graded cards. I had a CGC 10 um, Aerodactyl from Skyridge, non-hollow, and a PSA 9 Squirtle from the Bending series um, that I traded to them for Scarlet and Violet Miriam. and a reverse Expedition Charizard. Now Charizard's a little beat up, has a crease in it, right there. Um, edges are super worn. Thinking about grading it, i um, hoping it comes back as a one if I do grade it, because um, I believe the population's super low on these in ones. Um, but I figured two cards for two cards, graded for ungraded, for cards that I've been chasing after. I've been waiting for the Miriam to go down in price for quite some time, and it's about right where I'm willing to pay for it. Um, from there, I ended up buying uh, two more cards from them with some cash. Uh, I ended up going back later to pick these up. But uh, it's a base set two Gyarados and the Ghastly from the Japanese set. Um, from the newest Japanese set, or the Temporal Forces Japanese set, I should say, not the newest. This has a crease in it as well. But I didn't have a uh, base set two Gyarados, and I really thought that that would go nice with the collection. Um, but yeah, um, there weren't too many, uh, there weren't too many tables there that had Pokemon cards. There were about three to four ish, uh, somewhere in there. And then the rest of the tables had maybe a handful of Pokemon cards graded, or they had like a stack of raw, like commons, uncommons, just to see kind of field what was out there and see what people would be interested in buying but um I ended up going to the next table and I picked up a handful of cards from them as well I ended up getting back the Deoxys that I traded away a couple weeks ago um I believe I paid a lesser amount on each of these and I picked up this Deoxys that I don't have already both from the uh, Crown Zenith Valerian Gallery 
And then I picked up this claymation apom. Super cool. Love that artwork. Um, it's from Paradox Rift. And then I picked up a base set Venusaur. Base set Venusaur is in a little rough shape, but it definitely could be worse. Um, I did not pay 55 for it. Um, that's just the other thing. Centering is not great. Edges aren't great, but it's a base set. Card's a little worn right there. I don't know if you can see. It's not a crease, it's like the, the printing's coming off of it. But I love how clean that hollow is. So I had to, I just snatch it up. Um, so I picked up those cards from a different dealer. Um, and as we're walking out from there, I picked up something, uh, actually, okay. So from that same dealer, um, they had just gotten this card and my buddy Kenny has been chasing this card for a while. Super cool card. Love how weird that back is with the original artworks. Love how goofy and dorky the front looks, but it's super cool. Um, super stoked that he got this. I think it's a great card. He got a hell of a deal on it too. Um, and speaking of my buddy Kenny, he actually, this is not something that I re received from the uh, from the card show, but uh, he got a crazy deal on this card since it's damaged um, off of eBay. And this card is the Japanese Lugia from Neo Destiny. Uh, super cool card highly sought after in both English and Japanese um, although damage I still think it's a super cool card I don't really collect a lot of Lugia but it's probably the best card from this set um, and I'm super stoked that he got it for me he got a, he got a killer deal on this one too I love that hollow. Going from there, we came back um, and went to trade night at Legion's Collectibles. And uh, I ended up trading only a couple things, but I ended up picking up a Silver Tempest Trainer Gallery, number 16, Zorora. The Aurora, the Aurora V, um, pretty good shape. I picked up um, several other art rares. You got the Dotler. We got the Wimpod. Our work, like water down here and whatnot. Um, the Swablu, water down there as well. Um, love that artwork as well. Exadrill. Just hanging out with his work crew, you know? Encino. Looks like they got a little, little party going. Got Meryl in there. Really cool artwork. Really cool. And then a flutter main from uh, one of the promos, I believe. Um, yeah, cool cards. Super stoked to get those. Um, and I ended up trading back for my alt art B drill that I pulled. 
I'm actually really excited that I got this back because it's a, a card that I got from a pack and I ended up trading it away and I kind of regretted it. Uh, and I got it back. So I'm super stoked that I got this back. Cards come and go. Um, but as we were leaving the uh, card show, there was a sports card table. It was mostly sports cards there. There's a sports cards table and they really didn't have a lot. They had like some Pokemon cards in their like rows of like loose cards. Um, but they had one graded card sitting there and it was an alternate art from Fusion Strike. And I'm like, uh, Fusion Strike's pretty cool. So I might have to, might have to see what I can do on this. Well, it was the, a PSA 9 Mu V alternate art. And I love this artwork. I've, I have loved this artwork since that set came out. It's got Smeargle in the background. It's got uh, Toxtricity, you know, another one right here. It's just a super cool card. Um, and honestly, I think this could probably regrade as a 10. There's a very small chance that this could regrade as a 10. There's very little wrong with it. Um, centering looks great. It's a little off center, but not terribly off center. But I was super stoked. Dude had it listed for 45 on the table. I ended up getting it for 30. Um, I just hit him with a low ball offer, not thinking he was going to accept it. And uh, I thought he was going to counter and he just took it. So I got it for 30 bucks. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how my first trade night went or not trade night. Uh, my first rodeo, I guess, as you'd say, it's a card show. Um, first card show went pretty decent and I'm pretty soaked. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Make sure uh, you like the video. Uh, leave a comment down below which... Uh, which... Not poll, but I guess pick up you think was the coolest that I got. Um, or whichever one's your favorite. Or maybe let me know what your favorite pickup from a card show was that you've got. Um... And then make sure you're subscribing, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.